did so good. Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make some gluten-free sugar cookies. And what you'll need is some white sugar, some gluten-free flour, and you can use any type that you want, two eggs, 12 tablespoons of melted butter, some vanilla extract, and some baking powder. All right, and then we need two and a half cups of gluten-free flour. And with measuring stuff out, you can like measure, some, you can like put some of it into like the measuring cup and then like level it out and then keep on doing it until it's at the measurement level. <laughs> yeah, that was not supposed to happen because look at this mess here. Because I know I was, I like went to like shake it to like try and level it out and so it went onto the table. And then there's, well, it's not really sad, but it's close enough. And then I'm open this up. And then there is half a cup. Alright, and then we need one teaspoon of baking powder. And then we need one cup of white sugar. Shouldn't look like that. Alright, and then we need to add the 12 tablespoons of butter. Alright, then we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we need two eggs. And the trick to getting these open is by cracking on the side of the bowl like this. And then there should be cracks that. And then we are going to open it. Alright, and then we are going to mix all of that together. And with mixing stuff up, you want it to get, as, get it as mixed up as good as you can get it. And once the dough is all mixed up, it should look something. Right, and then we need to preheat the oven to 325 degrees of Fahrenheit. And then the most is probably some cookie seeds. And then we are going to take some dough and then roll it into a ball like this. And then we are going to put that into a cookie sheet. And then try to make these cookies about the same size. 
And then you keep on doing this until all of the dough is used up. And with the cookie sheet, you want it, you want to leave some space between the edges and then in between each cookie too. And once the cookie dough is all used up, we are going to bake them in the preheated oven for about 10 minutes or when the edges start to brown out. Once the below. cookies are all done baking in the oven, it should look something like this. Alright, and then we are going to make the frosting for the cookies. And if you don't want to, you don't have to add the frosting. And what you need? It's some powdered sugar, some baking vanilla, eight tablespoons of melted the ice at the wrong measurement. All right, and then we are going to make the frosting for the sugar cookies, and you don't have to add the frosting if you don't want to. And what we'll need is some powdered sugar, some baking vanilla, and then some cream cheese and four tablespoons of melted butter. All right, then we need fourth of a cup of melted butter. Did I say melted butter? I think I said that. All right, and then we need to make the frosting for the cookies. And you don't have to make the frosting and add it to the... Oh, well, I, I screwed up on it weren't even done. All right, and then we are going to make the frosting for the cookies. And you don't have to add the frosting to the cookies if you don't want to. What we'll need is some powdered sugar, some cream cheese, some baking vanilla, and four tablespoons of melted butter. All right, then we need one fourth of a cup of cream cheese. And with measuring stuff out, you want it to get as level as possible so you can be as accurate as I can get it. Well, it's not really very good but i'm just going to say it's a fourth of a cup and you just put that in there all right and then we need oh one no yeah one and a half cups of this powdered sugar. All right, and then we need the four tablespoons of the melted butter. And then we need one teaspoon of the baking vanilla. This one's all empty now. Okay. 
Okay, and then we are going to mix that up with the electrical beaters. And with mixing stuff up, you want it to get as mixed up as close you can get it. Alright, and then the frosting should look like this when it's all mixed together. And then if you want, you can add like sprinkles to it or like mint flavoring, chocolate flavoring, cherry flavoring. But you can really add anything that you want to this, if you want to, or you can just leave it the way it is. Alright, now we are going to put the frosting onto the cookies. And then I decided to add a banana to it. You can really add the amount of frosting that you want to every cookie. And you can choose the amount of the cookies that you want to be frosted. And this is what the cookies should look like when they are all done. Mm, it's so good.